week. I was going to leave. stronger now. I can't believe it. I, I just can't believe it. I, I'm actually out. You know, when I saved you from the river, there were two others. They didn't have helmets. I couldn't see their faces. Neither of them is Fritz, just guards. He got himself into such a good position. Sort of an assistant to a power station superintendent. He decided to stay. So he still I used to think Fritz was such a pain. But he's been quite fantastic. He certainly made a most useful assessment of the mechanics of the city. Are you sure he'll escape suspicion? We were careful to lay a false trail for me. How are you feeling? Better. It's the fresh air. It comes as quite a shock to you after the poisonous atmosphere of the city. Well. We must leave here as soon as you're able. Will! Shh, shh. Wait! Let me go! If you're not tough, we can't find you. You're certain the man's been killed. You're already hidden. No, this is the time. The tripods come to everywhere. No, everything. Only if you run will they find you. I never forget it was there. It'll be good to get rid of them when we get back. Mm. I suppose that is why the tripods can't find me. Mm. Clearly, a real camp gives off some sort of a signal, which guards do not. In the city, my master was suspicious that I might not be capped. Or at least that I might not have been capped properly. He liked me because of that. But he couldn't really tell. Only in the capping hall would he have been able to discover the truth. And we only just managed to avoid that. A few of the masters, the more intelligent ones, actually believed capping made us dull and unimaginative. But the rest don't care about that, of course. All they want is to make use of our labor until they're ready to poison us all. And that is what we must prevent. Well, with all this amazing information you've discovered, it'll help us to do it. If we can get it back to the free men in time. We must. Are you strong enough then? For another journey? If it is safe.
<laughs> You've come at the right time. Travellers, eh? We're athletes, monsieur. Returning from the games. Oh, you've taken your time, haven't you? I've been to many places on the way. But uh, now we've run out of money. Ah. Mm. We do have something here. Perhaps we could exchange for the two loaves. Where did you get this? We camped in the ruins of this big old house. There was a hidden cupboard in the wall. I've enjoyed playing with these. But now, food is more important than play. A whole set? In exchange for two loaves of bread? Please, monsieur. But this is solid gold and silver. No, I cannot do this. They're worth more than 50,000. 50,000? Thank <laughs> you. 